Hello everybody, it's Grungy Sponge here, and today I'm going to be showing you the simplest possible way that I could think of to uh, write a Visionaire cipher in Python. Uh, so what is a Visionaire cipher, you might ask, and that is a very good question. Uh, first, you're going to need to know what a Caesar cipher is, um, and basically the gist of it is you shift every letter in the alphabet by some number of spaces uh, and use that to encrypt your message. So A becomes X and B becomes Y, C becomes Z, etc. Uh, this is pretty trivial to break through a method called frequency analysis, which is basically, hey, uh, we know that E is the most common letter in the English language, so anywhere the most common letter in the message appears, we'll substitute an E. Uh, and so if we have a three-letter word that ends in E, it's probably the, so we know what T and H probably are, uh, and we look at those in uh, you know, throughout the message, and it becomes pretty easy to uh, to break. So uh, first, let's uh, look at this more basic kind of cipher. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is import our nice collections module, which will have a, a nice rotate function that we won't have to build ourselves, uh, although it would be pretty easy. Um, so let's look at what a uh, deck looks like. Uh, and it's basically just a list, uh, in this particular case, of all the ASCII lowercase characters. Um, and so then what we can do is uh, apply our uh, uh, rotate function. Uh, let's do by one to make it simple. Oh, I need to tell it to get the deck again. Um, and you can see that now the first letter in our in our deck is Z and A. Uh, and if we uh, so so it would be pretty easy. You can see to uh, translate. Uh, one letter to another using this kind of rotate method. Um, but what we are going to need to do uh, to get it ready for our translate function is to uh, make it an actual uh, string. Um, and so we have to join it on the list like that. And so then what we do is we uh, we use this uh, make trans function to say all right every time uh, a certain letter uh, appears in the uh, lowercase alphabet I want to map it to um, this this new deck that I've created um, and then uh, that'll that'll be translated correctly uh, using this method here um, so let's uh, let's give a nice example of what uh, of uh, you know some Caesar shift looks like uh, I don't know how about hello um, we'll give it zero just to show you that it returns hello and uh, an important thing to note here is that uh, the two L's are mapped as the same letter every time uh, you know regardless of what that letter happens to be there it's two N's uh, there it happens to be two S's but once you know that that's an L it'll be an L everywhere in the message and the Visionaire cipher gets around that um, by using a key. And so basically, if I want to encrypt D uh, in my plain text, I look at what letter or what number um, I want to use in my key. And I go down here and I see it's an N. So I know that it's a, you know, a Caesar shift that corresponds to Q. Um, so basically, how we're going to accomplish that in Python is first by doing a list comprehension. Uh, so let's. Uh, uh, if you don't know how that works, uh, it'll take something that looks like that and make it something that <laughs> looks like that. So let's call that our text. Um, and now what we're going to do is encrypt it using another list comprehension here. And so basically what that says is for every ith element of the uh, of text, uh, you use the ith element of the key to Caesar shift it. Um, and this just says do that as long as we still have, uh, you know, elements to, uh, to do that to. And let's uh, look at our uh, encrypted here. Uh, oh, right, uh, I don't have a key. So let's uh, let's just make our key um, something easy, so like five zeros. Um, but if, say, I change this to a one, you know, the O at the end becomes P. Um, yeah, and then we do the the uh, the same 
a little trick as before, and we uh, we get a string return. So uh, that's the that's the simplest way that I could think of, anyways, to do a, uh, a visionary cipher in Python. And theoretically, it should be unbreakable so long as the key is as long as the message and is randomly generated. Uh, and something to think about is actually if you try to give it a key that's shorter than the message, you'll get an index error. Uh, and this isn't particularly helpful. Uh, so, I mean, if you want to, I guess you could add a try clause uh, somewhere in here. Let's let's just do that real fast. Like try, uh, try to do it our normal way. And uh, if that doesn't work, we'll accept, uh, oh, index error, index error. And uh, I guess we'll just raise, I mean, index error does describe it pretty well. So let's raise an index error with a helpful comment like, key is shorter than message. And then if we try that again, uh, something didn't quite work. Hmm. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> I need to actually call my visionaire function. Uh, hello. You know, just say that's, you know, this key isn't long enough, uh, and then so it tells us that we need a longer key. Um, and if you wanted to use, you know, something like, uh, I don't know, an as the key, or, you know, like uh, like a, b as the key, of course you never would, um, you can just repeat that, um, you know, to to the length of the message if you wanted to, but then the uh, the it's actually no longer unbreakable due to uh, frequency analysis. So what you what you should do is use a key that is the same length of the message and is randomly generated. Uh, maybe I'll do another video about how to randomly generate keys using NumPy. Uh, but for now, I think we'll keep it nice, uh, short, and simple. So uh, yeah, let me know if this was fun for, is fun for you as it was for me. <laughs> Bye.